With our A-B testing feature, you can compare two versions of your Heyflow and monitor their performance in real time with our built-in analytics dashboard to find out what really resonates with your target audience. In this video, we'll show you how to get started with A-B testing and share some best practices with you. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with the A-B testing setup. First, build your flow as usual. This will be your baseline flow. When you're done, click on Create A-B Test in the top right corner. Now you'll be able to switch to the variant and change whatever you would like to test. You can change pretty much anything about your variant. Add or delete blocks and screens, change design elements like fonts or colors, or use a different copy. You have Heyflow's full building flexibility when designing your flow variant, but keep in mind not to make overly drastic changes to get comparable results. When you're done adjusting your variant, click on Start A-B Test. Both of your flows will be published and traffic will be split evenly between the two versions based on IP address. So if you would like to test something for yourself, we recommend using a VPN or multiple devices. While the A-B Test is running, you can monitor the performance of both variants with the Analytics dashboard. It will look a little different than usual, so you can see how both versions are doing. We recommend keeping a close look on the conversion rate, as it's a great indicator of which version is performing better. When you've gathered enough data and decided which version you want to go for, you can click on Stop A-B Test and proceed with your preferred variant. Now all traffic will be routed to the preferred flow version and your analytics dashboard will go back to normal. So what else should you consider when it comes to A-B testing? Here are our best practices. First, give your A-B test some time to gather sufficient data. How long exactly you should run your A-B test depends on factors like your flow's traffic volume and the changes you're testing, though we'll recommend running the test for at least two weeks. Secondly, don't try to test too many things at once. You won't be able to tell which changes influence the conversion rate. Instead, pick specific elements in your flow that you would like to put to the test. So what should you test with the A-B testing feature? You could try a different picture on your landing page or change up the way you collect data and try out different layouts of your contact form. Or maybe you have identified a screen with higher drop-off rate, so you could change the wording of that question or leave it out entirely. For more inspiration, check out our blog article on this topic that we linked in the description. Congratulations! Now you know how to run A-B tests with Heyflow to optimize your flows and improve your conversion rate. Check out our other tutorial videos or the Help Center to become a Heyflow expert. Happy building and have a great day.